Welcome scientists, it's Miss Gisa, and today we're starting to learn about a new life cycle, the life cycle of a butterfly. The story I have for you today is called, Are You a Butterfly? And it's written by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are you a butterfly? If you are, your parents look like this. You start your life in an egg like this. As soon as you are strong enough, break out of it. You do not look like your mother or father. You are a caterpillar. You have 16 legs, a hairy back with tiny breathing holes in it, and very small eyes. You have no nose, but you do have a mouth. So eat. Eat whatever you are standing on. Your mother laid your egg on a delicious leaf. Grip the leaf with your legs to hold it steady. Then eat. Now, eat the next leaf. Eat every leaf you can reach. Then move to another bunch of leaves and eat them too. You grow bigger and bigger. Eat more. You feel full. You feel so full you think you are going to burst. You are right. You are going to burst. Before you burst, glue yourself onto a leaf or a stem so you won't fall off. Your skin will split all the way down your back. Don't panic. This is normal. Climb out of your old skin. You may have to wriggle around a bit to do this. As you eat and grow, you will have to climb out of your skin two or three more times. One day, you will feel funny. It is time to find somewhere safe and glue yourself to it. You are going to make a chrysalis. You may not be able to spell it, but you will be able to do it. You will change while you are in your chrysalis. You will change a lot. You will grow six legs instead of 16. You will grow large eyes instead of small eyes. You will grow long feelers on your head. You will grow wings. When you have done all of these things, break out of your chrysalis. Your wings are crumpled. They look terrible. Don't worry. Hang upside down from your chrysalis. Slowly, slowly, your wings will stretch. The creases will all go away. Use the long feelers on your head to smell flowers. Use your long tongue to drink nectar from the hearts of the flowers. Use your wings to fly. However, if you look a little like this, or this, or this, you are not a butterfly. You are not even a caterpillar. You are a human child. You have no wings. You can't fly. It is most unlikely that you have long feelers growing out of the top of your head. But you can do a lot of things that butterflies can't do. You will never have to make a chrysalis. And you will never, ever, ever have to eat so much your skin splits. Did you know if a human baby grew as fast as a caterpillar, it will weigh about eight tons when it was only two weeks old. There are about 15,000 different kinds of butterflies in the world. The Queen Alexandra butterfly of Papua New Guinea is the largest in the world. When its wings are spread out, it measures 11 inches across. Butterfly wings are covered with thousands of tiny, brightly colored scales. Never touch a butterfly's wings. They are easily damaged. And if the butterfly can't fly anymore, it will die. Now, let's do an activity together. Okay, little scientists and artists, let's combine our love for science with art. And we're gonna do a little arts and crafts project. What you're going to need is a toilet paper roll or paper towel roll that you can cut down to this size, um, some string, some tape, and then you can either 
print out an extra activity that from your activity packet that has a picture of a caterpillar and a butterfly, or you can draw your own caterpillar and butterfly, which I always love to see your drawings, so I think that's a great way to go. First step is to take your string and put it through the toilet paper roll. And then you're going to put your caterpillar on one side. You're just gonna tape it like that. And then your butterfly on the other side. And again, you're just gonna tape it there. And then your little caterpillar goes into the chrysalis, right? It turns into a chrysalis and out comes the butterfly. You stay in there. You want to see that again? You want to see the metamorphosis? All right, remember metamorphosis means change. So your little caterpillar starts off outside and it goes in right it, remember its skin splits and then it hardens into a chrysalis and then after some time of being still and all the changes have happened metamorphosis the butterfly comes out I hope you've enjoyed today's read aloud story and our arts and craft activity. If you did, remember to hit that like button and to push the subscribe button so that you are notified of our next lesson.